In this video, let's talk about the single arm farmer's carry, also sometimes called a suitcase carry. Let's talk about how to do it, some common mistakes to watch out for, and I'll explain why it's one of my all-time favorite core stability exercises. So at its core, the single arm farmer's carry is really one of the simplest exercises that you can do in the weight room. Basically, you just grab a dumbbell, grab a kettlebell, and then take off walking. However, there are a few things that you want to be very mindful of when you're doing single arm farmer's carries. And the biggest one is the making sure that you're bracing your core and that you're keeping really good posture as you walk. So you don't want to grab the dumbbell and just kind of let it pull you down, let it slouch, and then try to walk around and move like this, okay? You want to brace the core, stand up nice and tall, and then walk. Now the biggest mistake that you need to watch out for when you're doing single arm farmer's carries is that oftentimes I see athletes that grab too much weight and they end up doing one of these as they're trying to walk around with the dumbbell, okay, or the, or the kettlebell. You don't want the dumbbell to lean against the body, right? You want to keep it just off the body so that way your core is having to brace and having to keep yourself upright. That you're not relying on just leaning the dumbbell against you. And that's especially true if you start really trying to lean away from the movement and then really let it rest on your thigh as you try to lug around with it. So stay up nice and tall, keep the dumbbell or kettlebell just off your body and keep the core nice and engaged throughout the duration of your walk. Now the reason I love this exercise so much is because I love exercises where you get a lot of different benefits out of one exercise. And this hits a whole bunch of different things. So first and foremost, it's great for core stability. So your core is having to stabilize and keep the dumbbell from pulling you down, okay? So the entire time you're walking, your core is having to fight to keep yourself upright. This is amazing, especially for athletes that are in contact sports where they're having to perform their skill while someone's leaning or pushing on the side of them. Think basketball players, think soccer, uh, soccer players especially, um, as they're trying to dribble the ball um, and, and maneuver, and they've got someone leaning and kind of pushing on them, and they're having to stabilize their body as they're doing their skill. Two, they're excellent for grip strength. If you take a single arm farmer's walk and you grab a 60, 80, 100 pound uh, dumbbell or kettlebell and you start walking 50 to 100 yards with it, your forearm's gonna be on fire. I've just been holding this 25 pound dumbbell for the duration of this video and my forearm's already feeling it right now. So they're absolutely outstanding for grip work. And then you also get a bunch of secondary benefits as well. Uh, they're great for the traps, for the upper back. Uh, they're good for balance, they're good for coordination. So you get all these great benefits from an exercise that is one, requires almost no setup. You just grab a dumbbell, grab a kettlebell and go. Uh, it's super easy to learn, easy to execute, uh, and it doesn't take a lot of time to knock out uh, two, three sets of a single arm farmer's walk. And all those benefits is the reason I use this exercise all the time in my programming. And if you're interested in any of my programming, I've got links down in the description below that shows you all the different ways that you can train with me online. Thanks for watching.